Hi friends, now we are going to talk about uh, about number range. Number range is something that is always configured uh, by a functional person. And let me show you what I'm talking about. If I go to ME23N or if I go to sales order or anything, you see this number? This number is always generally it's internal number range. That means the SAP is um, proposing this number. You can set it as external also, but most of the companies will have internal number range. Okay. So now what is that? So what I have, what I'll be showing you, if I go to a transaction, this is the transaction code where everything is maintained, SNRO. Okay. And a functional person of this transaction is probably hasn't worked with any project. Okay. SNRO is the place where you start with this pro any project you have to maintain a number range. And here you have to choose the object name okay so here i have to select purchase order or something so i can select you can see urch purchase okay so here we have purchase in category uh there you see purchase acquisition and then would be this and generally let me see this is the number range for purchasing documents purchasing document falls into purchase order contract I uh, mean, purchasing document falls uh, in a bunch of places. So if I go here, I define display, okay. And if I go to interval editing, and here I click. So here you can see these are the different, different uh, thing that has been created. So these are all external, and these are anything which is non-checked is internal. So. If you notice this is the current number that is there 507 okay so if i go and i select probably this is the number or something it's the latest view that has been created yeah. after that if i put 508 you will see it's unfixed okay so this this tells you how many purchase order has been created so it started with 4500 same thing which it has different for contracts and all those things so if i go here uh, shift free intervals so this is something so generally this is going done by the functional person okay uh, it's always it's being done by the functional person and um, so here you can think at some point you can put thresholds and all those things you can do a lot of things here change current number free interval save transport and yeah so this is this is very helpful and for different different uh, uh, things different uh, uh, document it would be different so here this was for purchasing purchasing document which includes so uh, you know uh, contracts scheduling agreement purchase orders you name it okay now if you want to see the stuff for um, so here also you can see yeah this is the one thing i was saying so if it comes near to the end within two percent you get a prompt that uh, we need to create a change the number range okay generally it doesn't happen but you know if it's a big company it may happen so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have good